Hello, welcome to Knowledge of Physics. In this video, I will be explaining how to prove this relation, which is very important uh, formula in calculus. It is used to find out the limits and derivative of trigonometric functions. And this relation is limit theta tends to zero sine theta by theta is equal to one. This means limit theta approach theta when theta approaches to zero sine theta by theta approaches to one. So let's get started. For that I have prepared here a post with the title proof of limit of sine theta by theta as theta tends to zero. You can visit this uh, site by clicking on the link provided in the description of this video. The proof of limit of uh, sine theta by theta as theta tends to zero. In this post, you will learn to prove a very important formula in calculus that is limit theta tends to zero sine theta by sine theta divided by theta is equal to one. This relation is very useful in determining the limit of trigonometric functions in calculus. If you use theta is equal to zero um, directly in this relation here, then you get sine theta by theta is equal to zero by zero, which is an indeterminate form. This means that you can not find out limit value of limit directly. However, if you use some techniques, then you get the limit equal to one. In this post, you will learn that technique which helps to which helps you to find out the value of given limit easily. So let's begin. Uh, for that, we need a figure with a circle A, B, D, M with the center at C. And M, N is the tangent of circle at point M. And obviously, radius of the of circle is always perpendicular to the tangent of the circle Yemen. So consider a circle A B D M with center at C and radius C B so that C M C M and C B is equal is equal to R or A C is also R, which is the radius of the circle. So radius of circle is equal to r. We have supposed this. And BDM is an arc that sustains angle theta at, at point C. So this BDM, this is an arc or the small portion of this whole circle which sustains angle theta at the center of circle C. Yaman is a tangent of circle at M that meets diameter AB subtended at yen so that cm is perpendicular to yen also yp is drawn to perpendicular to cb at p i have already told you about this now we consider two right angle triangles that is a triangle cbm two right angle we have to consider two right angle triangle uh, one is triangle this uh, c the CBM and another one is CMN. CMN. This one. We have to consider these two circle, uh, triangles, right angle triangles. And we also consider a sector CBDM. The CBDM. So we have to also consider uh, this portion of a circle. Suppose uh, this is uh, this point is C here and we have to consider this portion with angle theta theta this whole portion okay then what we get is area of triangle uh, CBM is less than or equal to area of sector CBDM less than or equal to area of CMM. 
okay so in this figure what do we we can see is area of this circle cbn is less than area of this sector is less than or equal to area of this whole triangle cmn let's say this be equation one okay we have to find out all areas of all this uh, portion and uh, this portion and the uh, triangle and we will substitute the value of those area in this equation and we will take a limit uh, as theta tends to zero and we will solve further to find out the formula this relation okay so for that first of all let's find out the area of this uh, triangle cbm cbm means uh, you know this c b m okay this was this uh, tri uh, right angle triangle for that uh, in right angle triangle cbm uh, area of the right angle triangle cbm is equal to half of base multiplied by height and you know um, base is uh, named as cd and uh, perpendicular height is pm so in this cbm triangle base is cb and perpendicular is pm and uh, if you see the figure you you can see cb is uh, supposed as r and triangle angles bcm is equal to theta so that sine theta is equal to pm by cm you know this uh, mcb or bcm is theta and uh, sine of this theta is equal to this mp divided by cb or pm uh, divided by cm okay so pm is we have to find out the value of pm and cm is obviously r so pm is equal to r times sine theta which gives area of triangle cbm is equal to half of multiplied by r multiplied by r sine theta cm is r and pm we got here r sine theta so that the area of triangle cbm becomes this one half of r square sine square sin theta this is equation two now we have to find the uh, find out the area of this sector this sector okay for that the process of finding the area of sector c b d m is a little bit different than finding the area of triangles suppose a prime is the area of sector c b d m we have from above figure what we have is uh, for the circle of radius r the area of the circle is given by pi r, pi r square pi r square and this circle of area pi r square makes angle 2 pi at the center c so area of uh, this uh, circle that circle is pi r square and this circle this uh, circle of area pi r square makes angle 2 pi radian at the center c the portion cbdm with r bdm makes angle theta at the center c okay thus uh, angle 2 pi is equivalent to area pi r square okay a circle uh, substance angle 2 pi at its center and the this uh, angle is equivalent to pi r square or pi r square area makes the angle 2 pi at the center of the circle similarly angle theta is equivalent to the area of the a small portion of that circle so actually this uh, cmb or cbdm this portion is the small portion of this whole circle and and uh, this portion makes angle theta at the center of the circle and this whole area makes angle 2 pi at the center of the circle so what we can find here is that uh, you see that figure a uh, bigger angle corresponds to larger area because you know 2 pi is equivalent to pi r square this is a uh, one complete uh, angle 2 pi uh, means 360 degree 2 pi radian and pi r square is area of circle and the theta is less theta must be less than 2 pi or it, it must be less than 90 degree actually and uh, equivalent area of a must be less than pi r square so uh, 
it says a bigger angle corresponds to larger area thus the area and the angle are in proportional that is a prime by pi r square is equal to theta by 2 pi this a must be a prime not only a okay and from this solution what we get a prime is equal to 1 by r 1 by 2 r theta actually this must be theta square not theta square it must be r square i will correct it a prime is equal to 1 by 2 r square theta this is equation 3 this gives area of sector cbdm of circle now the area of uh, to find out the area of c m n and in right angle triangle cmn we have cm is r and angle m c n is theta so we have to find out what is mn because area of the this circle uh, sorry this uh, right angle triangle cmn is equal to half of base multiplied by height and you know base is a cm and we have to find out mn as we know cm is uh, you know area of the uh, sorry radius of the circle r you can replace uh, cm by r but we have to find out value of mn for that from from figure from this figure if we take a trigonometric ratio tan then what we get is uh, you know this is a uh, angle and uh, it is perpendicular to perpendicular at m so tan theta must be perpendicular by base that is mn by cm same thing is done here so tan theta is equal to mn by cm so tan theta is equal to mn by you know cm is radius of the circle r so mn is equal to mn is equal to r tan theta so that area of cmn triangle cmn and n becomes half of r square r times r tan theta and finally the area of triangle cmn is equal to 1 by 2 r square tan theta this is equation 4 now finding out the limit after finding the area of uh, these two right angle triangle and the sector of the circle uh, what we do is uh, use uh, this equation 2 3 and 4 in equation 1 we use 4 this uh, 3 and 2 in equation 1 here we have to put the values in this equation so after putting the value substituting the value in this uh, equation what we get is um, area of a uh, triangle cmn is less than or equal to area of sector cbdm is less than or equal to area of triangle cnn after substituting the value we get uh, this form uh, half of r square sine square theta less than or equal to 1 by r 1 by 2 r square theta less than or equal to 1 by 2 r square tan theta the factor are half 1 by 2 r square being same in all terms in the this term is common in all these uh, terms this factor is common so it cancels out so uh, the remaining is sine theta is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to tan theta we have to con convert tan theta into sine and cos term then we get this form and dividing by sine theta in all sides what we get is one get is one is less than uh, theta by sine theta less than one by cos theta taking reciprocal of all all sides the less than or equal to uh, symbol this this symbol changes to the greater than or equal to this symbol that is that is one is greater than or equal to sine theta is sine theta divided by theta less greater than or equal to cos theta you know and after taking the relation the this symbol has been just changed to this and same thing is done for this sign now taking limit as limit tends to limit theta tends to zero in all sides we get this form okay but uh, limit theta tends to 0 cos theta is equal to 1 and limit theta tends to 0 1 is equal to obviously 1 so what we get is this is 1 and this part is also 1 then 1 is greater than or equal to limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is greater than or equal to 1 here we got an amazing form of inequality which says that limit theta tends to 0 uh, sin theta by theta is both less than or equal to 1 and greater or equal to 1 which is possible only if this limit tan theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is equal to 1 this proves the relation so by solving this process what we get is limiting when theta approaches to 0 sin theta divided by theta approaches to 1 
this relation, this relation says that theta measured in radian unit not in degree okay approaches to zero radian the value of uh, sin theta by theta approaches to one however if you directly put theta is equal to zero in sin theta by theta it gives zero by zero which is an indeterminate form note this is this result is very important in calculus uh, for finding the finding out the limit and derivatives of the trigonometric functions such as in sin x cos x tan x etc share this post with others if you found it useful so in this way you can prove uh, this relation which is very important relation in calculus or in mathematics so if you need more explanation you can comment on the comment section below please visit this uh, site and uh, i have post uh, many post on the many topics so you can uh, just uh, visit the site and just check it out thank you so much for watching we will see you in next video stay connected with us thank you so much